Looking to elevate your style? Turnover pants will do the trick. They flatter all body types and are a perfect combination of comfort and style. They also come in a plethora of beautiful colors and styles, making them a wardrobe staple. And today we'll be learning how to stitch one yourself in stretch fabric and a turnover waist belt for comfort. You will need one and a half meters of 60 inches width stretchable fabric for the pant, one meter of stretchable fabric that is hoisery fabric for the waistband, template for the turnover pants which you can download from our website www.ushaso.com. Marker, pins, pair of scissors and threads to match the fabrics. In this video, you will learn template marking and cutting of the front and back of the pants along with the waistband, sewing and finish the crotch lines of the front and the back, sewing the inner and the outer seams of the leg, preparing the waistband and sewing it on the pants and finishing the hemline. We begin with laying the pant fabric on the table. Your fabric should be folded in half in a way that the wrong side faces you and the right side of the fabric face each other. Step 1. Template marking and cutting. Now, place both the back and the front templates downloaded from www.ushaso.com on it. Pin both the templates in place with some beaded pins. Ensure that the pin goes through both the layers of the fabric. Take a marking pen and create an outline of the template onto the fabric. Do this for both, the front and the back template. Now, unpin the templates and keep them aside. Then take a pair of scissors and cut along the drawn markings. Do it precisely with a steady hand. The edges can be particularly difficult. Your cut pieces should look like this. We'll now be working on the waistband. Take the material for the waistband and fold it into half. Place the template downloaded from www.ushaso.com on the fabric. Pay careful attention to cues where it mentions waistband length and waist round. Now pin the template with the help of beaded pins. Once done, take a marking pen and trace the template on the fabric. Then, unpin the template. And use a pair of scissors to cut along the markings drawn. Do it carefully and with a steady hand. Step 2. Stitching the crotch area. We will first work on the crotch areas of both the front and back pieces individually as shown in the video. Take beaded pins once again and pin the crotch area to secure the pieces in place. Now let's take the pieces to our Usha Janome Dream Maker 120 sewing machine. Align the crotch area with the presser foot. Select mode 1 on the number pad to set the stitch pattern to straight stitch and stitch length to 2.2 and press the start button to begin sewing. Remove the pins as you go. Don't forget to use the reverse stitch button at the beginning and the end to secure your stitches in place. Next, we will use the zigzag stitch feature on the machine to give the frayed edges a neater look. 
press the zigzag stitch button. Set the stitch width to 4.5 and stitch length to 2 and begin sewing. There's no need for reverse stitches here. Your final stitches should look like this. Now keep that piece aside and let's work on the other one. We will repeat the exact same procedure to stitch the crotch area on this one. Good job! We are done with stitching the crotch area. Before we move on to the next step, let's examine our stitches. Step 3 sewing the front and back along the side seams. The next step involves sewing the side seams. Open the back piece of the pant and lay it on the table and then the front piece over it. Right side facing the right side. Once you've aligned them together correctly, pin them together with a beaded pin. Use the pins across the side seams of the pants. Ensure all the edges are aligned and not mismatched. Once done, go ahead and pin the inside seams as well, exactly like shown in the video. Make sure the crotch seams are matched to ensure a smooth continuous stitch across the inner seam. Now, we stitch these together. Align the edge of the outer seam with the presser foot and begin sewing. Remove the beaded pins as you go. Continue stitching till you reach the end of the pants. If done correctly, your stitches should resemble these. We will repeat the same on the other side of the pants. Begin sewing at the top and steadily make your way down. Be careful with the pins while you sew. And we are done with the outer seam. Time to work on the inner seam. Start from the bottom and gradually make your way to the top. The secret to an amazing inner seam is having one stitch throughout. So, continue to the other side when you get to the crotch area without stopping. Once done, Cut off the thread and examine your stitches. They should look like this. Now, take care of the frayed edges. We'll do zigzag stitches on both inner and outer seams. Start off with the outer seam. Finish one leg and cut off the thread. See how clean the stitches look? We'll work on the other leg now. Steadily make your way down and done. Next up is the inner seam and just like the straight stitches, the zigzag stitches need to be done in one single stitch. Sew from the bottom and make your way across the other side. Perfect! Step 4. Preparing the waistband. Pin the open side of the waistband.
We will now stitch the open side which is opposite to the fold. Take the fabric to your Usha sewing machine and reset it to straight stitch and proceed with stitching. When you reach the end, cut the thread. It should look like this. Step 5. Attaching the waistband to the pant. Lay the pants down on the table. The wrong side of the pants are facing you. For the waistband, match the side seams like shown in the video. Pay close attention as the seams will go in the opposite direction of each other and then fold the entire belt into half. This step is a bit tricky, but nothing you can't do. If done correctly, the fabric should seamlessly circle twice around your hands. Take the ready waistband and match the stitch seam line of the waistband to the seam line of the back of the pants. Right side facing the right and pin it. Stretch the fabric and pin the entire circle inside like shown. We have to now stitch the pointed section. Begin sewing and go all the way across the belt. Remove the pins as you sew. Examine your stitches and you'll notice the frayed edges. We'll give it a neater finish with zigzag stitches. Go all the way across. Doesn't it look much better now? Step 6. Finishing the hemline. After all the machine sewing, time to take a break and manually sew the bottom hemline. Take a needle, fold the hem allowance by half inch and then one inch like shown and begin sewing. Sew all the way across and examine your handy work. The stitches should resemble these. Repeat the same on the other side. Our stitched belt and hemlines should look like this. Turn the pants inside out and voila, we are done. Stylish pants ready in just few steps. You can experiment with fabrics and colors and create enviable styles that will leave your friends wondering where you got your pants from. If you liked our creation, don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe.